Now, in case you thought Sloan and I were going to get out of doing all that hard manual labor, well, this segment's just for you. Sloan and I wanted to put a water feature in this backyard, and we wanted it to be one that we could do ourselves, a DIY project, and we found a system that works pretty great. It just lets us frame it up to any height that we want our pond to be. Now, we started out by just putting together the sides of our pond, and they just hinge together, which allows us to move it around. It's flexible. We really took our time to position it exactly where we wanted it in our backyard. Now, once we got it to exactly where we wanted to have our pond, which was a couple of feet away from our patio so we could do some nice plantings around the edges of it, we went ahead and made a circle on the inside using just some marking paint. And now you'll notice that we have a ledge around our circle as well. We came in about a, a foot from that. That's because we've created a planting shelf, and we've dug this shallow hole here because in North Carolina, we can have fish in here, and fish can be in here all year long. What they'll do in the winter is they'll just sort of burrow down in there. Yep, they'll right? stay in the bottom, but you've got to have a pond at least 18 inches, even in the Carolinas, for that to happen. Mm -hmm. So once we had our dirt dug out of here, then we started putting our stakes in, and these go together. Now, we're working with two-by-sixes, and this is pressure-treated lumber because we're going to take some of that dirt that we took out of the hole and use it to sculpt around our pond and landscape with it. So you want to make sure that your lumber is pressure treated. And you can cut these to any length. You know, we're working here with about a two-foot section, but you could go as long as eight or ten feet if you wanted to make a really huge area. It just all depends on what shape you want to create and how much of, of curve you want to have to it well. Well, this is the real secret right here. It's these brackets mm -hmm. that are on the end, so you cut your boards and then you just screw them right in place. And then they just start framing up to whatever height you want, get them lined up nice and even. And because you have a stake system that goes into the hinge, you actually have a stake and stake. So it fits right inside of those, so they lock together. So you can continue to stack it up as high as you need. Okay. So it just slides in just as easy as that. And then each round just keeps going up within yep. another stake just like that, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Once we've got this all in place, then we're going to do exactly the same kind of a system in the back because we want to have a waterfall with this pond. It'll be smaller, but we'll just have a four-sided area that we frame up the same way, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, then once we get that done, then we've got a little bit of, you know, we had to get everything leveled first. When we got our first round down, we leveled all of that, made sure it was level. So now we're going to have to do the same process with our second layer, get it all nice and level. Once we're happy with the level, then it looks like we've got some work here in this wheelbarrow, right? We do. We've got some sand to put down in here, and then we'll be able to place our liner. Right. We're going to make sure that we get a liner that's big enough to cover our pond and to cover our waterfall mm -hmm. area, work it down nice and smooth, and then after we have that in place, then we're going to come back in with that extra dirt and mound it up around the walls of our pond. We're going to mix with that some good potting soil because we want to put some good plantings in here. You know, one of the things about a pond, there's a couple of things you can add to it that really make it look like nature's own pond, and that is to have some great plantings that soften the edges and then some good stones. Right. So we have the rocks that are going to come in around it, and this will blend right into the landscape, and it will look like it's been here, you know, for a long time. And then once we get it all together, we get it all filled up with water. We'll be ready to add some fishes. What do you think? I think so. So if you want a backyard pond, I tell you, this couldn't be easier to put together. I'll hold this for you and you okay. go ahead and put that layer on.